Welcome, welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, yeah, hope you guys had a good weekend. Um, nothing too much new this week. Uh, s schedules should be there up the on your screen. Um, nothing really changed. It's going to be the same thing. Uh, tonight's Hogwarts Legacy, and then Thursday will be Fortnite with the boys. And then Saturday will be uh, back into Hyrule. Trying to finna do more of the Korok seeds and such like that. Uh, in preparation of the Tears of the Kingdom coming out. So, uh, yeah, with the boys, yeah. Yeah, some good friends. Uh, Bishu89, Ajax89, and uh, Bacon Eggy. We all uh, actually met up on uh, Sea of Thieves, actually. And became really good friends during the pandemic. And after that, we've just always stuck together as a squad. Uh, we do have a couple other members of our squad, um, but due to like work and travel and things like that, not always able to join us. Uh, yeah, uh, one of my closest friends, um, he'll be, he might pop in and out. Uh, usually goes by Soccer Man, or if we're on our Xboxes or whatever, he's Nox Lude. Uh, we have been friends since middle school, high school. And um, once I moved away from uh, down south, that was one of the ways that we always kept in touch was actually through video games. Um, I mean, we try to see each other a couple times a year, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so tonight we're going to get into Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, it's been a been a week, so forgive me for um, kind of taking my time to get back into it and see what else I got to do. I was actually talking to one of my coworkers this uh, this past week and. Um, he had actually just finished as Ravenclaw and really enjoyed playing just as a Ravenclaw. Um, he's now going to go back and like do all the extra quests and such and decide if he's going to do another house or not. I actually enjoy uh, this game a lot, so like I can see the uh, replayability, which um, I'm definitely going to be doing because I want to play all the houses. I want to get all the the ro the 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 house robes or whatever um but yeah so that's like kind of like the game plan for this one uh still gotta find more of the moons yeah yeah this game has been awesome i mean it's a really well done game. It definitely is really easy at times, even on the hardest setting, but all in all, it's a, I will say it is definitely a very fun game. Very well done. They had, you know, all the details that they put into the game, you know, walking through Hogwarts and stuff. I mean, they don't have like, obviously the shifting staircase, which would be a cool thing, but I think people would get really frustrated with it after a while. But just all the different details, like the time of year, like right now it's fall, which is really cool. Uh, not that way. And there's always just so many little like puzzles and so many different little things that you can find. I mean, I know people joke about how often like you have to do Revelio, but I mean, I'm a level 28 because I literally just sat here and try to find all the, the pages and such like that to boost my level because that's the best way to do it. There's actually a puzzle and I don't remember how to do it myself. Oh, there it is. Look at me here. I'm talking out of my ass and like, oh yeah, I don't know how to do it. Oh, look, there's a thing on the ground that's should tell you how to do it. Oh. Incendio. Four, one, two, three. Right. No, 
that's supposed to be four. There we go, four. Yeah, so this is the, uh, this is, what's up, honey? Um, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, the robe's actually really cool. So this is the, the house robe when you actually find all the dedalion keys. It lights up whenever you cast a spell. The other robe that I really like is actually the Dark Arts that comes with the Deluxe Package or whatever, the Deluxe Edition. Which I really like as well. So every now and then I'll I'll change back and forth between the two just because I like them. I like both of them so much. And I like that, like, even though you have, like, a robe that definitely is not that robe on, it lets you change the cosmetic. Which oftentimes I feel like sometimes gets really frustrating with other games because they just, like, don't allow it. Those two. It's one or it's it's one is the triangle. Oh, three is the triangle with the circle. One. There we go. So yeah, so like there's all these like little puzzles throughout the castle too. Rebellion. But like you definitely have to like find all these like little thing, all these like, it's good to find these uh, puzzles and such like that or like solve them just for that fact, like being able to find the different equipment. I mean, it leads to the pages, which are valuable. Yeah. Yeah. And like, I sometimes can lose in, Like I love open world and I love, you know, doing a bunch of side quests and exploring because that's like how I play RPGs in general because I mean honestly I hate trying to struggle through uh, through the main quest but this game you definitely don't need to do that but because there's so many different things so you know many nooks and crannies and like little things to find like it's Honest, quite honestly, it's just just the game in general, and like the graphics are good too. Like I haven't really experienced too much of a lag, and um, I'm running on like the best settings possible, um, which is tough for you know some systems they can't do that, but like this one, this game like I haven't seen like once. Or to like ever like slow down on me or like get glitchy. Uh, nope, wrong spell. So, yeah, so if you get this, like just a little pointer about the, these chests that has the eyeballs, if you don't have the dissolution charm going, you won't be able to get into it. So, it's important to like. Once you're able to get the disillusion charm. It's also good for combat too, because you can do sneak sneak attacks and things like that, which which really help out. But I use it more for just getting those chests in general. And then like that chest that I got earlier, 
that's a legendary um you'll find those as you play along but in my own opinion i think it's better if you took the time or um like you don't identify them which eventually you will when you get this the the requiem room but if you hold off until basically either your gear is completely filled up um, or you're a high enough level because it all depends on your level like I had all my gear and it finally I think it was like what am I now 28 yeah so like 26 I identified everything and it gave me a huge boost in like everything anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk I can't agree and I'll not say a word more I'm sorry are you gonna let me talk I to him? Give up. There we go. What were you and Omina speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Omina swears it was used for the dark arts, so he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. The dark arts do pique my interest. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. I'd like to know more about it if you wouldn't mind telling me. I won't repeat it. Very well. But do keep this between us. Ominous learns dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus curse? Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him, the anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Yeah. Yeah, my buddy said that, uh, am I going to actually go save Neo instead of actually run around Hogwarts? The only thing that's missing is, uh, being able to be bearded. If we could just have the beard, I would be happy with that. astronomy class I already been here probably have not realized that I've explored so much of the castle I just forget where I have been or haven't been Also takes a lot of a uh, takes a very takes being high up for you to actually take fall fall damage as well. I've learned. He like takes no damage whatsoever. Is 
Duncan owes his reputation to you. Revelio. What even magic? And your reading is the dragon. That's exciting, I suppose. Perhaps you're due for an adventure. Ladies, Professor Shah, astronomy is not divination. You won't find the mysteries of the cosmos charted out on your palms or at the bottom of your teacups. Alas, the heavens remain hazy to the starry-eyed. Now, if you were to devote yourselves to persistent and painstaking observation, you just might catch a glimpse. With that in mind, please take your telescopes. Tonight, we will be on the observation deck. Still don't have your own? You can't be the new student forever, you know. You can share with Mr. Takar. Here, I can adjust that for no, you. No, no, bring it into focus on your own. Now, I expect all of you to put in your stargazing hours outside of class. Is that clear? But, Professor, it's freezing out. Mere cold didn't stop the great stargazers of the past. Look only to the astronomy tables they erected throughout the highlands from which they gazed millennia ago on the very selfsame stars above us. Is that clear? <sighs> Dismissed. Hello. I don't believe we've met officially. I'm Amit. I'm something of an astronomy buff. Hello, Amit. It's nice to meet you. Did I hear Professor Shaw say that you don't have your own telescope? I have a spare one you could borrow for the rest of term. That's very kind of you, Amit. Are you sure you won't need it? I'm certain. It's my old one. I finally got my hands on the new Celestia Contemplor. You've heard of it, I assume? I mean, of course you have. It's only the pinnacle of all personal stargazing implements. But my old model's not too shabby either. Goblin cut glass, first-rate optical enchantments. Hate to think such a fine instrument is just collecting dust. Well, I... I thank you, Amit. Think nothing of it. Anyway, the telescope's in the storage room right underneath us. You can't miss it. I have some, uh, reading to finish on the lower deck. Come find me there afterwards and bring the telescope. There's something I want to talk to you about. Rebellion. I tried to put off my stargazing as long as I could. Hmm, there's a thingy over there. I don't remember how to get to it. Watched a whole video on it and I don't remember. What? 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 Where's the storage area? Revelio.
Oh. Why well, I feel silly now. Run right by the stairs. Here we go, more XP. This was his old telescope. <laughs> Looks practically brand new. <sighs> A pristine night for stargazing. I have the telescope. It's nicer than I'd expected. I would not offer a prospective stargazer a third-rate lunoscope. <laughs> but there is, um, something else. Yes, what is it? You remember those astronomy tables Shaw was going on about? It just so happens I've been reading up on them a little myself. And it seems there may be one right here at Hogwarts. I believe we could use it to find hidden constellations. And you need someone to help find it. I do. Are you in? No one from the Gobstones Club will go with me. Said they'd rather get spit at by a stone than... Well, they are cowards. Let us get moving while the stars are still out. I'll show you how to use that telescope once we get there. I promise. No need to convince me. Let's get going. Brilliant. You won't regret it. Shall we? I don't know. I've been roped into a couple things before. I don't know if I want to get roped in again. The table is on a castle wall ahead. Look for a stone platform. Something that doesn't fall below. <laughs> we'll know it when we see it. Onwards we go. Revelio. The locations of the tables were originally marked by centaurs for ritual stargazing. Huh. It is nice having a fellow stargazer to explore with. Happy to be here. It is good to leave the classroom now and then. It's not right. that creepy out here. All right, Emmett, what are you going to do with my God with my body? Uh, you're just luring me out here. What are you going to do with it? I know you're going to do something with it. Uh, why don't you lead the way? If you're sure. Rebellion. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Oh, of course. Revelio. Not as tidy as I expected. Not as tidy. <laughs> yeah, it's the robes, all right. <laughs> Incendio. More cobwebs. Revelio. You don't think any spiders might be lurking about? Oh, no. Not this close to school, I mean. There's a table. I think you should do the honors. Go on, try it out. The constellation should appear near the center of your view. As soon as you've lined up the telescope, we will be able to fill out our star chart. Oh, so close. So close. There we go. Lyra. I was right about the tables. They really are gateways to the far stars, just as the book said. And your contribution was invaluable. Rest assured, you shall be credited in my memoirs one day. Thank you, Amit. I look forward to reading them. And I look forward to writing them. <laughs> this is only the beginning. You will find more tables like this one throughout the grounds and forest, all beckoning to be discovered by a worthy astronomer. And if I have ever seen one, it's you. Oh, and about my old telescope, don't bother returning it. You should keep it. That's quite generous. Thank you. You are welcome. It has goblin cut glass and a gobbledygook inscription. I'm practically fluent in gobbledygook, you know. It's all in the throat, really, gobbledygook, you know, and, and how you <laughs> pronounce your R's. 
Ahem. Anyway, glad our adventure was a success. I will see you soon. Gobbledy gook. What an ha <sighs> Never do get tired of seeing the astronomy tower at night. Yeah, so like you have all these like little things like that that like I don't know what that will help us with. But like there's things called the Merlin trials, which actually gives you more gear okay. space. So it's like little side things like that that while you're exploring is like very important. Alright, quest. What quest? Where is she? Oh, she's way up there. Uh, what do I have? Alright, I got six mallows. Should go to the greenhouse. I'll show you like how to um, do like the Merlin trials. I don't use the the fast travel too much, other than like. Like in this case where I need to get to um, like the greenhouse really quick because you can keep growing like you can plant some things and keep it keep things grown. So like right now I have um, Malice wheat leaves, which is what's required for um, starting Merlin trials. And I also have one in my in the the secret room here that I'm going to. Uh, no. Let's go to there first, actually. And that's the thing is like some of the side quests, they don't pop up right away unless like you're zoomed in on the map, too. So um, usually I will pick them up when I'm flying around it's a lot easier. Because um, like when you're flying, you can hit a... Uh, Revelio. Revelio, like that. And then, like, everything shows up in the area. Instead of kind of like if you're on the ground, so. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for someone as court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until. Oh, never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. My brother's doing well thanks to you. And he listens to me now. Turns out. Akia! Ah, oh, too hard, too hard. So Summoner's Court is basically, it's, I don't know, it's, it's like, uh, like Shuffleboard in a sense. Yes! 
kill. That settles it then. It's not too hard of a game to play, but you definitely have to like pay attention to like and have like a good judgment. Don't say that, Samantha. You're a fine player. Well, that's very kind of you. Let's just say if I'm good, then you're better. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. Yeah, it might be a... Uh... Might be worth it. Uh, all right, where's More land trial on the way. What'd you get for being a poacher? Gotta clear the area. I know a mountain trial when I see one. Yeah, so that this is where the the malice wheat comes in handy because it'll activate these. There's like nine different types of these trials. Like you have this one where you just gather up the moss or butterflies, whatever, whatever you want to call them, and you just bring them to these stones. Like that.
The other ones have to be here somewhere. No, I see those up there. I guess they all have to be. I guess the rest have to be up there. Yeah, have a good night. Thanks for uh, checking in and hanging out for a bit. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Lumos. Yep, that they won't. That they won't. Go to these butterflies. Rebellion. I was just up here. Come on, where is this damn thing? Here, I 
Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Another one. Easy. Too bad. That one's pretty easy to figure out. you received my owl. We need to stay low and remain quiet. Natty, what's going on? Why are we all the way out here? As promised, I did some investigating to find out what Harlow is up to. I followed him to the Hulk's head. I noticed him reading a letter. All I could see was that it was signed by and bore the seal of Victor Rookwood. And after you told me that Rookwood and Harlow were after you, I decided that you were the perfect person to join me in taking them down. For good. That letter is the tangible proof that Officer Singer needs. It is why I followed Harlow here and why I wrote to you. I need your help to retrieve it. Can't we just bypass Officer Singer and go directly to the Ministry? Do you think they will listen to a student? Only Officer Singer can start an investigation. The Ministry will come in later. You seem to be very determined in stopping Rookwood and Harlow. Why? I knew men like him in Uganda. I know how bad things can get if they are not stopped. It's their long story. One I promise to share when we have more time. For now, let's do what we came to do. I'll help you find the letter, Natty. I'm glad to hear it. First, we must access the castle keep. I'll check the main gate, see if you can find another way in. I do not see any guards, but we should still try to be as quiet as possible. Hollow is here, after all. Revelio. Let's see. Hmm. I wonder what that does. 
That did it. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Wingardium Leviosa. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. They will not keep us out. We will get this gate open. Somehow. Hmm. I don't know. Always good to find a Marlin trial just randomly around here. Lumos. There we go. Another trial down. Yep. Another one down. Actually, I think it also increases our storage space, whatever, for the gear. Yep. Challenge complete.
Oh, there's still one more. Oh, yeah. There we go. Got it all. Those are collections. Fill pages. I'm almost done. Almost done. Rebellion. Like, what's killing me? Oh, stupid devil lines. Rebellio. Lumos. Rebellio. Lumos. Akio. Rebellion. So I'm supposed to climb the battlements here. But... How am I supposed to get up there? Clearly, I'm supposed to climb up there, but... How that's supposed to be... Here we go. Rebellion. Hmm. 
Missing something, but I don't know what I'm missing. Was a real pain. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for Natty. There's a thing in the way. Had to find the open window, you know why my guy just couldn't go in there through there. That looks as if it might raise the gate.
Valio. Akio. Well done. I will be right up. Mm-hmm. Do it. This way. I will get the door. Revelio. That is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Halo and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get. I hear them. Very well. New plan. I get the evidence and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! And hurry up and get in. Stays out of trouble. Akio, Wingardium Leviosa. Revelio. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. Wingardium Leviosa. Safest place to sneak into. Rebellion. You've had too much fire whiskey if you think you can outdo my take. And hardly carry a second. Rebellion. Gonna enjoy this. Shut up! Now you're just getting on my nerves. You don't come. Incendio! Oh, it's a bit like them being on fire, isn't it? Oh. Of course I die. Can't be that simple. Not the safest place to sneak into. Accio. Revelio. Oh. 
Hey, Rebellion. It went much better this time. Could have been worse, but luckily it's not. He's having an easier time of it. Aloha Mora. Rebellion. Rebellion. You're going home in a wooden box. Let me outside. easier now. Rebellion. Another talent point. I think I will. Excuse me.
not going to hurt you. Gotta catch all the little beasties. You'd think for that weird look, for that kind of chest, that would have given me something more, but I guess not. Express must be returning from an unscheduled run. All right, what's going to happen? It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. wasn't it? I wasn't sure we were going to make it out alive. <laughs> there was no need to worry. I had it all under control. Were you able to find the letter? Summoned it straight out of Harlow's hands. <laughs> I will say, I did not expect to see him cast the killing curse at us. He won't forget this. Be on your guard. Of course. What did the letter say? That Rookwood's looking for a phoenix. 
<laughs> not sure where he will find one. But it also included Harlow's orders to inspect that castle for the poachers. Enough to connect Harlow to the crimes. I shall deliver the letter to Officer Singer. She'll have to do something when she sees it. Now, tell me, where did you meet these hippogriffs? I've only met Highwing before. Poppy introduced us. Poppy Sweeting knows a hippogriff. <laughs> of course she does. Poppy will be relieved to know that Highwing's safe. I came to the right person for help. My mother will be worried. I must go. Seek me out soon. I shall have much to tell you. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Harlow. He may be able to provide the evidence we need to take Harlow down. We should speak with him together. Meet me at his home. Faster highway! Regarding the goblin you mentioned, why don't we meet at the map chamber to discuss that and our next steps? When you have a moment, please stop by the room of requirement. Deke tells me he has something to share. Uh, I'd rather keep the... I'd rather keep myself... Keep, uh... The excess, whatever you call it. What are you up to now? What are you up to now? Scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Is this Mr. Bickle's home? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. I just want to sell my shit. Why can't I just sell it? I'm like in the same fucking area. Not even that far away. Where could Archie have gone? 
Are you all right? We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband is dead. He killed him. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mrs. Bickle. Who killed your husband? Theophilus Harlow. I'm sure of it. He's been threatening my husband for weeks and... Oh, where is my son? Where is Archie? I don't mean to be grim, but... Could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. I hope he wasn't here when Harlow... When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? <laughs> um, he has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Uh, I'm afraid to leave, in case he comes back home. Is there anything more you can tell me about Harlow? Oh, he's Victor Rookwood's second in command. A miserable, awful creature. Vicious and murderous. What reason would Harlow have to kill your husband? My husband had been looking into Harlow's dealings and discovered some of what he's been up to. I begged him to leave it alone, but he... He was convinced that... Uh, <laughs> we'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> Please do not worry, Mrs. Bickle. When I took the letter we found to Officer Sia, she told me about Mr. Bickle. Hello, Mr. Semi. What can I do for you? What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Ah, yes. A wonderful choice. Had quite a bit of stuff. I like that when the NPCs are with you, they actually will keep up with you. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? She thanked me, but she clearly felt that it was not enough. It's a shame that hypocrites cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout that Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Archie? Archie Bickle! He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Revelio may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Revelio. There! Archie's footprints. He went this way. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. We must find Archie quickly. Archie. 
with that rebellion we should look around Archie satchel why would he leave it behind he was like the fire running distracted this may be a good time for rebellion again Archie went this way I have a bad feeling about this. Harlow must have a reason for pursuing Archie. I wonder what Archie saw. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never Rebellion. overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio again. Multiple sets of footprints. Oh, Harlow caught up to him here. This is not good. They went this way. You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. I still do. I think those of us who have witnessed death deserve some comfort. I'm sorry you experienced something like that at so young an age. I was with my father when he died. My mother was away and I felt quite helpless. It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, Rebellion. it seems like it was only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. You must miss him. My father was a wonderful man. I... Mm. Let us keep moving. We must find Archie. What's up? Inside. That complicated. Dancing right on in, huh? And no uh banning this time. Rebellion. Someone's got the world rocked. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Ah! 
<laughs> oh, made her into a chicken. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> right? Oh, I can't wait till I get the curse. I can't wait till I can get it. I mean, don't get me wrong, the, the ancient magic is pretty badass, too. <laughs> right? I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, that that right there, just the ancient magic sometimes just is so badass. I mean, it's just being able to just like run in there. Especially now that I got like the ancient magic gauges up, it just makes it like that much better. Because before I could only like do that twice. And now like while I'm doing it, I can also add more to it. Or like while it's while like another segment's charging up, I can still like be getting still be using it and not worry about like my stuff getting like fucked up. Yeah, so just imagine getting the killing curse and then using the ancient magic all at the same time. And they're basically like, obviously the killing curse is like a one time deal, but then the ancient magic is almost like a one shot death as well. Archie, Archie Bickle. How do you know who I am? Your mother sent us to find you. Not too loud, Achi. Sorry. We need to get this open. Alohomora. I'm out good hollow. I'm so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with it. But first, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. We wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. husband's friends may be in danger just as he was how can we help you've done enough my husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat harlow the last thing we need is that monster coming after you it may be too late for that i'm afraid harlow's already after us then you needn't anger him further i assure you the threat could be a lot worse please please keep your distance I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the two of you for your kindness. Yep. Not 
to worry Mrs. Bricker. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof alone. We are here to help each other. I must learn more about Mr. Bricker's friends and why Harlow is after them. You'll be hearing from me as soon as I know something. Thank you for your help today. All right, let me see here. What quest? Quest, 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 quest. Uh, let me keep clicking the wrong damn button. Cause that's definitely gonna help. Outside the Slytherin, okay. Like, how am I supposed to get in the common room when I'm not even a Slytherin student? I, mean, I guess I could technically break in. I mean, I'm about to get one of the unforgivable curses, I think. Okay, so might as well grab this while I'm right here. I don't know when next time I'll come back down here. in here because so it kind of looked like the wall that's in here Rebellio. I mean I've had this like the moth like glitch on me or whatever Rebellion. 
Might as well unlock these while I'm at it. Boom. Easy peasy. Got it. Another one. Revelio. Can bring up. Revelio. Must be in here. Hello, Hamora. I think they could have done something a little more with the lock picking. Oh, the lock picking's easy. So see how like that's turning? Or that's like the, the bottom right is spinning. So the this is the left joystick. You wanna find when that's spinning and then you wanna do the same for your, for the right. You want to find where the center there with the right joystick. It's kind of like a uh, Elder Scrolls in um, Fallout, I think, if I remember correctly. You just got like, yeah, you got to figure out the uh, basically the combination between the the joysticks. And then you got this guy over here. Take 500 from him. Once you like know it, it's it's really easy. And obviously, like any any time you spend or uh, not spend, but like you take your time, you get like used to it. It's not like um where you run out of lock picks or anything like that. That's like the one like thing about it is like it's not too hard. Yeah, I, I find more with like the smaller gears that I don't really ever have to spin it too much. Which, I mean, I guess isn't like a terrible thing, but. Like I said, it, it's it's easy. Uh, or like once you get the lock picking down, it's pretty easy. It's not like if you. It's like not even like the different levels of locks isn't like more difficult and I kind of wish there was like a difficulty there really that's like my soul really like my only like soul complaint with this game is like some of the things are like too easy like the puzzles are fine I think they're the right difficulty like all the little mini puzzles and stuff that you can find but as for um you know, lock picking and such like that. There isn't like an increase in level. I mean, like I'm I'm playing on the hardest level too. It's not like I'm playing, you know, you know, easy or even normal. Now, where is the stupid moth?
Revelio. into the bathroom I believe is it this one Rebellion. I mean you can't go down the chamber of secrets but I was able to zoom in on this faucet right here that that's the entrance to the chamber Should be in here, I thought. And don't tell me it's freaking glitching. I had that happen a couple times now. Lumos. Like these moths, that's like the that's like the only thing that's like glitched on me is these moths. I was like doing a quest last week and the uh when the moths like all of a sudden just up and disappeared and I had to restart the game. Maybe if I keep playing I can come back to it. Revelio. The main thing is just like trying to remember, like come back down here. You're here. Brilliant. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, only a Gaunt knows the location of the Scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. Hmm. Perhaps I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing new. I know where he is. I'll lead you to him and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Yeah, but it is what it is. I mean, it could be, honestly, the, the moth could be back that way, for all I know. But Keep in that... Out little picture that's what it kind of looks like is that one area that i was just in strictly speaking it has we were caught damned poltergeist such a nuisance lumos there he is good luck what are you doing here Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Sebastian did show it to me. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells, to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. <sighs> I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about... What was it? A scriptorium. He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to saving Anne. I think it's likely full of dark magic that is best left untouched. Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favorite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pureblood status. 
She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Mm. I'm sorry about your aunt. Don't you want to find out what happened to her? Aunt Noctua went down this path with good intentions and lost her life. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. Yeah. We could do it together. Hmm. That's what I'm waiting on. Because like I said, it will make the fighting I didn't think it a little bit more fun. I shall tell you what <laughs> Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I hope I... we don't regret this. Sebastian, over here. These braziers grant access Lumos. to the scriptorium. Now your share? You wouldn't tell me when I practically begged. It wasn't you who told me what I needed to hear. Opening the entrance has something to do with threes. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. And by that logic, three is better than two. Simple mathematics, ominous. Mm. Good for you. Something's happening. Ready for this. Easy. Dark, ominous corridors. My favorite. No comment. Come on, that was a good one. Rebellion. Looks like a locked door. We may want to look around. A journal entry. Signed by Noctua Gore. Oops. Ominous. Your family is here. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. That must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. Sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often associated with dark wizards. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. I see no reason we should stop now. <laughs> it's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. I can't believe I'm doing this. It worked! Ominous, you possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Between the two of us? I... Never mind. So if I remember correctly, this kid Ominous is actually like a relative no to Tom Riddle. Like a maze. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. <sighs> Rebellion. The door we came from is closed, and there's more than one gate ahead. Then look closely at each gate for clue. Lumos. The dial requires focus. Art Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. That didn't sound good. Salazar Slytherin didn't make this easy. <sighs> so sun and... Inf 
Fendi snake thingy. Matching the symbols did open it. Was Lumos. Do that myself. Revelio. But you got to it first. And Lumos. Nice work. Hmm. Was that bowl and then like the hook thing? Got it. Just in the nick of time. That sounded promising. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. Lumos. This journal entry, it mentions getting lost and being unwelcome. Poor Aunt Noctua. Not sure references painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Painful. That's the part I'm wary of. Hmm. All I heard was rewards. Keep going. Revelio. Lumos. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family. In the linen closet. She did. And she was my favorite. Yeah. Is it still bleeding? Lumos. I mean, it's okay if it's wet looking. As long as you're not actually bleeding. Fish thingy, triangle thingy, fish thingy, triangle thingy. Should know what these runes are, but you know. Another, not the welcoming sword, was he? Got it. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. I spotted something ahead. Looks troubling. The gate. I think we're locked in. Lumos again. Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. <clears throat> hmm. being trapped here blocked by an unforgivable curse hmm. this is where she died this is where we'll die i shouldn't have listened to either of you ominous i'm truly sorry about your aunt but i know what to do it's going to be difficult you said you know what to do tortured faces on the door and crucio is etched into the stone my guess is if we cast the Cruciatus Curse, 
The door will open. That's why Noctua died. She had no one to cast the curse on. Ominous has the most experience with this. He should cast it. You seem to be in Ominous's favor. Will you ask him about this? He does seem a bit cross with you. I'll speak with him. Good. Work your magic, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, yeah work his magic. Blood. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard you and Sebastian, and I won't do it. A Cruciatus curse is pure torture, I would know. Sebastian told me a little of what happened when you were young. Sounds as if you had no choice. <sighs> Should have known he would have told you. <sighs> and one always has a choice. I'm as guilty as the worst of my family. Unforgivable curses won't work unless you really mean them. I had to want to cause pain, and for that I shall never forgive myself. That spells the reason I have no family left. You and Sebastian will need to sort out another solution. If you cast Crucio, you will regret it forever. Don't you just, like, cast it on the door? What do we do now? Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus Curse again. Ridiculous! As if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, or I can cast it on you. Wait, you didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. I want to learn the curse, and I think it's best if I cast it on you. Very well, if that's what you want. To perform the spell, raise your wand, point it at me, and firmly declare, Crucio. Hold on as long as you can. First unforgivable curse. Ready? I'm ready. To go ahead. Let me know what's in it. I'll wander around a bit. May I have a look? Revelio. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his aunt and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's Rebellion. breathtaking. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. I 
see a way out. Best news I've heard all day. <laughs> see a way out as long as <laughs> I just leave them. <laughs> Sebastian. I meant what I said before. We swear right now never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. I'm truly sorry about your aunt, Ominous. I suppose after all this, I am grateful to know what happened to her. Thank you. Lumos. Revelio. Gonna have to restart it because <clears throat> that's where it's supposed to be. And I don't want to lose this, or I don't want to. See if just doing this will. Well, I mean, sometimes I sometimes it'll work this way. Sometimes it won't. Oh look, see, there it is. Lumos. It's a stupid glitch, I hate it. Go see Deke. Deke would like to talk with you when you have a moment. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... As the room gives more. The room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. And Deke knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. It is. Hmm. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. I understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Tobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. <laughs>
Revelio. So many things. This cave. I suppose I should head inside. Let's see here, let's actually figure out this spell set. His master is awful. Hmm. Tobbs? Tobbs? Deke sent me. Are you in here? Incendio. Incendio. Revelio. Was nasty. Rebellion. It looks as if Tops was here some time ago. He must have headed deeper into the cave. Incendio.
Revelio. Good for you. Two mini spiders. Me no liking. Killing them for they pop out on us. out on us. That's one way to do it. That didn't sound particularly reassuring. Enemy spiders, always spiders.
Oh no, they got me. Let's <sighs> go get one of those. I need a lot of AoE stuff. I don't have any fighting veggies. had it too. Too many. Mm-hmm. I agree. Way too many legs.
Incendio. Rebellion. Get through this. Revelio. Oh no. I have a feeling that house elf is Tobbs. Poor Tobbs. Left here alone with the spiders. Rebellion. Rebellion. That table looks familiar. Seems I'm back at the entrance to the cave. Mm hmm. Poor Deke. Come out before I what this Can I go into the room? That's the question. Yep, here we go. Ooh, excuse me. I'm back from the cave, Deke. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Deke hopes you gave Deke's best to Tobbs. I'm sorry to tell you this, Deke, but Tobbs is gone. It seems he was unable to avoid the spiders in the end. Oh my, Deke was afraid of this, alone in that cave for so long. Oh, poor Tobbs. Oh uh, Deke and Tobbs once shared the same master. When he died, uh, we were separated. Deke always wished Tobbs had been sent to Hogwarts too. Deke feels lucky to serve such kind witches and wizards like you. 
Deep will miss his friend dearly and will raise the glass to him with a heavy heart. Mm. <laughs> Poor guy. I'm truly sorry about your friend, Deke. Thank you. You are very kind. Deke could use some time alone to think if that's all right. All right. All right, guys, I appreciate you all tuning in and hopefully you enjoyed the stream and enjoyed some of the tips and tricks about the game that I've picked up on and things like that. Um, schedule is next to me here. Um, we're going to be back on Thursday with my buddies uh, playing some Fortnite, hopefully getting some good crown getting crowns having some good moments some shenanigans laughs things like that and then uh saturday morning be back with uh zelda playing breath of the wild searching for you know easy going stream kind of exploring hyrule and searching for the croc seeds and more of the spirit orbs um so yeah so we'll see uh stay tuned uh follow all my socials uh obviously twitch and youtube uh but i'm also on instagram uh, TikTok and Twitter, all under Exalted Drop 87. So, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you guys 